Hey guys, it's Good King 205 here, also known as Ryan Firepaint. If you know me from the uh, Clone Wars Adventures emulator Discord server, um, and I'm just going to kind of go over, uh, as stated in the previous video, this video is going to be dedicated towards kind of a recruitment video um, for the Clone Wars Adventures emulator, kind of going over what the positions are, what positions are in need, stuff like that. Um, some general general questions that people have asked me in the past. Um, first and foremost, uh, I'm going to get out what positions are in need, and then I'm going to kind of break down each one into um, what that position requires. So first and foremost, we have the developer team. Um, I'm a content developer, so I can give you a lot of information about that one, as well as several other positions, because I used to be on management, so I kind of know the ins and outs of things. Um, starting out with programmers. Um, a lot of questions that people ask is, first of all, what programming language do you use? Um, we use C-sharp. C-sharp is the programming language that Unity uses, and that's what we use. Um, speaking of, what game engine do we use? We use Unity 2020. That's the current Unity version that we are working with. Um, a lot of people ask me, um, and this kind of pertains to all development teams, um, how much time do you commit per week? Um, honestly, it varies from person to person. It varies from week to week. You know, we don't, we're not a full official dev team necessarily, so we don't necessarily have, you know, oh, you're going to work 40 hours a week. Some weeks you're going to work, uh, if you, like, for me, example, some weeks I'll be able to put in, like, 15 hours of development. Some weeks I can only put in, like, a couple hours of development. It, it, it varies from week to week, so... I don't want anyone thinking that we have, like, a quota that you have to get done. Um, second of all, uh, on the development side of things is content developers slash uh, designers, which is what I am. Um, so a general game designer like what I do is I have a very base level of programming knowledge. I don't do any programming really for the emulator at all. Um, but what I also create is... Um, mini games that's the word i'm looking for so like republic defender levels i can set those up and then the programmers come in and you know do stuff that needs re uh, code requirements um i also do a bunch of map creation stuff like that ui development ui design so that's that's what we look for in like a game designer uh, is someone that just has understanding of unity and is more of a balanced approach uh, towards game development. Um, we also are looking for what we call texture artists and retexture artists. Um, they kind of both play hand in hand a little bit, so I'll go over retexture artists first. Um, so what is a retexture artist? A retexture artist is like, let's say you're given a clone armor, like a, a generic phase two clone armor. And we tell you to make, or, not even we tell you, if you just have a cool design that you want to make for that clone, then you can make it. I'll put up an example on the screen, probably somewhere up over here. So I'll put up an example of what I mean by a retexture. And I'll do one that's currently in the game that we've teased. That way I'm not spoiling anything or teasing anything. Um, another thing that retexture artists will do is it's not just um, armor sets. It can also be weapons, it can be furniture items, etc, etc. Um, now what is the difference between a retexture artist and a texture artist? Well, a texture artist um, takes what the modeling team does, which currently we don't have any, I'll go over that next. Um, it takes what the modelers give you and basically creates the textures from scratch. That's the difference between a retexture artist and a texture artist, is they just take a texture that's pre-existing and modify it versus creating your own texture from scratch. So that's the big differences on those. We are looking for those. Um, so if you've got experience in art um, or any of that, uh, feel free to apply. Um, oh, and I also didn't mention that. Uh, I'll put the link and also a thing, this side, um, to the website, uh, the, our, our website, um, next up, speaking of animators slash modelers, um, so we're looking for all kinds. Uh, we're looking for environment modelers, uh, character modelers, um, both self-explanatory environment modelers, make plants, uh, furniture assets, stuff like that. Character modelers, design characters, simple. Um, now animators 
is basically just taking those models and creating like basic animations like an idle animation um creating a a walking animation uh, making sure that they sync up with the attack animations stuff like that you know real simple stuff um next up that we need on the dev team is um technical artists that's the one so what is a technical artist technical artist is basically taking those models that um the mod <laughs> taking the models that the modelers give you and essentially putting them into like either blender or akitsu i think is the other software that we use and creating bones and creating uh rigging like basically creating the skeletal structure that helps create the characters to move and it allows them to sync up with um it allows them to sync up with the in-game character uh character controller so those are those are positions on the dev team that we are uh, desperately looking for um so if you've got any experience beginning anywhere from beginner levels of experience to i mean if you're an, if you claim to be an expert i mean We'll be the judge of that, I guess. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, we're looking for people um, all of all of all type, all types. Goodness, I can't speak. Um, so moving on over to the hype team now. Um, on the hype team side of things, currently hype team is kind of barren. We've only got two members on hype team as of recording this, and we're looking for you know graphic designers, people who know how to do image editing. Um, like Photoshop, um, stuff like that for promotional material. We're looking for video editors. Video editors is a big one because um, we currently do not have any video editors. I know how to do a little bit of video editing, but I'm I can't do video editing like what they're looking for. So, yay. Uh, we're also still in the look for a content man or a content manager, a community manager. Um, the community manager is basically going to organize community-driven events um, across all various social media platforms, in, whether that be Discord events, in-game events, etc., etc., um, keeping the community engaged. Um, and then we're also just looking for people to help us with the social media promo promotions. Um, so, like, if you claim to be a social media person or just really like working with social media... Uh, you can always apply to be a social media person for us because we do need some help there on that front as well, mo um, managing our socials. Um, on mod team, I believe we're still looking for everything, you know, Discord enforcers, uh, in-game enforcers. Um, I'm not too sure about Reddit enforcers, to be honest. I'm not sure that that's really a thing at the moment. It might be in the future, but I'm not entirely sure. But those are both positions that are still being looked for. Um, I would say support team is looking, but at the moment, um, support team isn't necessarily actively looking for new people to join the team. I mean, it's a good way to kind of get your foot in the door um, and kind of help out the team with what you can. And if you're in the process of learning development stuff, you can always apply there and then transfer over to development at a later date once you feel that you're more comfortable. Um, but as of the moment, support team is, is kind of more stable at the moment. Uh, but once we release in public alpha, which whenever that'll be, um, once we release in public alpha, uh, support team will be more actively looking for new people because we're going to have a much larger player base. Um, so yeah, that'll be, uh, um, that'll be a position of need then. Uh, so what does support team do? Support team... At the moment, they're kind of like uh, quality assurance people. Um, they take community feedback um, through a bug report system that is being developed currently, and they're going to relay that information back to the dev team. Basically, uh, and then if there's any um, account issues with the player's accounts, like let's say your account got corrupted, we can the uh, support team will be able to kind of fix that. So it's more like support, you know, standard, um, just kind of uh, working with the community to solve issues and stuff like that. So those are those are positions that uh, we are very much in need 
uh, on the dev team um, and also the staff. So feel free if any of you uh, feel that you have any experience with it or even if you're not entirely confident in your skill sets like what I was when I first applied, I, I did not think that I was qualified at all and that's with me having two years of college experience. I did not feel that I was qualified at all. But as it turns out, I was overqualified. So here we are. <laughs> so yeah, um, I I would certainly say, you know, don't be afraid to put yourself out there. The worst thing that happens is you don't get in. That's the worst thing that happens. I mean, it's it's not that bad. Um, so one other little general question that a lot of people ask is, how is there is there a job quota? Like, is there a certain amount of development that you have to do per week? Yes and no. Um, so let me let me kind of elaborate a little bit on this. Uh, what I mean by yes and no is, obviously, if stuff comes up in real life, that's fine. Just let us know. That's no big deal. Um, but typically, you know, if you're, go if you're going active for a couple weeks, you know, due to personal stuff or something like that, that's completely fine. That is, that is entirely fine. We get it. Life happens. Stuff happens, okay? We understand that. Um, but at the same time, you know, when you're, when you're supposedly back, we do want to see you do at least a little bit of development and a little bit of contribution to the team. Um, whether that's at least staying active inside the community or the staff or staying active in development, you know, we just want to make sure that you're continuing to stay active, at least when you're available. And that's, that's something too, is on your interviews, it'll say, what are your hours of availability? Like what hours of the day are you typically at your computer? You know, stuff like that. So... Those are just some. Those are just some brief overviews of all the positions uh, that we are currently actively looking at. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I'm gonna make sure that I can get some more behind-the-scenes footages of um, development, some teases out in the community Discord, which the link for that's gonna be in the description as well. And at the same time, I'm gonna make sure that I get some more videos out on my channel. So. For the second time, same as the first, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.